Good morning. So today I want to shed a little bit of light on how to vlog. But oh. first, what is vlogging? Now, most of the time people think of it as its own specific genre, but really, in all actuality, it's more of a storytelling tool. Think of it like a behind the scenes, in a way, of your life. And like the most ultra realistic reality TV you've ever imagined. Only, I mean, it's a little fake. We'll get back to that in a little bit. But ultimately, vlogging is something that just helps you tell a story. But if you're like me and kind of new to vlogging, I want to go ahead and give you some practical advice, some tips that I've learned the past couple years on YouTube on how you can vlog and tell a better story and connect with your audience on a much better and more personal level. Also, we're testing out the new Insta360 One RS One Inch 360 Edition specifically for vlogging. What do you think so far? There's no microphone attached. There's no, there's, there's no nothing. There, there's nothing. Like this is all we're going to be using for this video specifically, as you see it. No accessories other than the selfie stick. What you see is what you get in the box, and this is what we're using. Now, full disclosure, I do have an affiliate link that I'll drop in the bottom of the description. And if you do pick up one of these, I do get kicked back from it. Absolutely, it's a way of supporting the channel. But really, if you really want to support the channel, just hit this like and subscribe button, notification bell. Helps out the algorithm. Maybe let me know down in the comments what kind of test you'd like to see next with the Insta360 One F RS One Inch 360. That's a mouthful, but yeah, just drop it down in the comments for the algorithm. Come on, help boost us up. We're about 170 subscribers away to being able to open up that community tab, which is really cool. That way I can stay in contact with y'all more. All right, so first off, there's two distinct styles of vlogging. The first one being what I'm doing now. Just walking around, talking to you, and that's it. I'm just gonna go on about my daily life. You get to follow along. Maybe you're entertained. Maybe there's some boring parts. Maybe there's not. Whatever the case may be, but this right here is absolutely the simplest form of vlogging. You just get the camera, extend your selfie stick, walk around, life is good. Now the second form of vlogging, which is quite possibly my favorite, is more of a storytelling style of vlogging. Now whenever I say storytelling, this is something that's been pioneered by Peter McKinnon, Matty Hapoya, and his brother Teppo. Um, Casey Neistat, you know, the list goes on um, as far as like bloggers and blogging and whatnot. But the fact of the matter is, the way it, it looks like there's so many different camera angles with these creators, but really all it is is a thought out process of what you're going to do, where you're going to do it, and what you're going to say where you, when you get there. So this could involve, say, we're going up to the sundial. You get a little shot like this, all cinematic, right? Then, you can lower the selfie stick all the way, put it down on the ground, do your hero walk, try not to kick the camera. Follow shot. <laughs> you see the cool part already? How necessarily I didn't even leave the frame? Anyways. So when we're talking about vlogging, obviously there's gonna be there's gonna come a point where we need to talk about gear. And now typically I've always told people on this channel that in order to vlog, you don't really need much gear at all. But also I've been using a Light Chaser Pro Kit on an iPhone 12 Pro Max with a DJI OM4 gimbal to get those smooth steady shots. Um, I also have a Rode VideoMic NTG that goes, that hooks onto it with light and everything else, you know, to combat this. I have the ND filters and everything. This, if you don't already have an iPhone or like a more advanced camera system, and whatnot like a lot of people are hesitant on starting blogging because they're like well I'm not gonna have the same type of quality videos 
as like the other big creators but I'm here to tell you like you don't need to drop 1200 or the what the iPhone 13 Pro Max is like $1,600 um, on top of a $200 gimbal on top of a $200 shotgun microphone and all this other stuff. It's a huge investment but if you want to start vlogging and telling your story to people around you and people that matter to you really all you need to, in order to tell your story is something that captures the best image possible and where you can get different angles to tell your story those storytelling moments um, those special moments something that you can get out really fast and capture that moment on like a split second and everything else and that's why I'm really glad that Insta360 decided to step their game up uh, you may remember the Insta360 One X2 which it's a beast in its own right and regard however Whenever Insta360 released this One RS 1 inch 360 edition, they decided to bring Leica in to the picture to help with their lenses and 1 inch sensors. Here, the dynamic range on this thing is insane. Reframing your shots, like, that's super simple in the app. Like, you, here's some examples real quick of what you can do with reframing your shots. Reframe your shots to go 9 by 16 or vertical so you can share it to your TikTok, your Instagram, your YouTube shorts, little snippets, and then release the full widescreen 16 by 9, the full link version. So in a sense, this camera right here is literally the one-stop shop for everything that you're trying to do. And I got something to tell you right now, actually. This entire package by Insta360 cost $800, and by all means, this phone was $1,200. Like, we could start adding up the numbers right now, and if you listen to it, let me know down in the comments, how's the audio, how's the picture? Any complaints so far with what you're hearing? I've got a bridge right over here that you could probably listen to. Dump trucks going over the bridge and everything else. Most likely you can hear that, but you can hear me clear as day. And like that's that's important so not only are you getting full 360 degrees you're able to pick up my audio pick up audio in your surroundings for more of an immersive experience for your audience and and this thing will pay for itself you see since we started vlogging and starting this YouTube channel we've had a lot of opportunities and the opportunities so far, especially with 360 cameras, are virtual tours, Matterport tours, stuff like that. And what you can do easily, okay, this camera cost $799. It was 800 and change to include the selfie stick that you can't see right now. But ultimately, we'll just call it 850 bucks, like after everything was all said and done. So for $850, I literally have something that I can do drone follow shots with crazy little art transitions kick transitions and everything else and the audio is fine creative movements and on the weekend say if you get say if you get a job doing a Matterport scan it's a hundred bucks you can do the math how fast do you think you could pay this camera off after just offering some virtual tour stuff. Guys, not only that, with the one inch sensors, it's better low light capability. Guess what? Not only can you do virtual tours, but with this camera, you're literally getting the best virtual tour for your money. Well, not your money, but for your client's money. You're getting the best possible on the market. The only camera that ever comes close to this is the Theta Z1, which you're gonna pay 12, 13, $1,400 for anyway. Like honestly, this is a complete game changer for me and this channel. I'm gonna be using this a lot more. And 
and one more kicker like the I mean they keep on coming and coming we can live stream with this thing straight from the device so all you live streamers out there <laughs> you already know what to do look I'm not gonna be a dead horse we're gonna touch on this a little bit more but in the meantime, I want to say thank you very much. We are almost there. Like I said, uh, 500 subscribers is the threshold. I'm not even talking about the 1,000 subscribers to get monetized. I'm talking about that 500 so I can go ahead and open up that community tab for all of, all of you guys. So do me a favor real quick. Drop it down in the comments. Let me know where you're watching from. And let me know your favorite part or the favorite thing about the new Insta360 One RS 1 inch 360. Like I said, that's a mouthful. Let me know if there's any tests that you want to see done. Anyways, guys, I appreciate it. Again, hit that like and subscribe, and we're going to catch you next time. Later.